Well, hello and welcome to uh, this exercise on Python programming uh, by beginner for beginners. Now, in this instance, I'm looking at uh, matrix multiplication and use that to transform a hexagon by here. Then he says, uh, using metric multiplication, transform the hexagon A, B, C, D, E, F by share with a share factor of 1.5. Now, can I say from the outset that you can do this, all of that in, in about five lines using the a package called NumPy. Okay, now that's for another um, session, I think. Now, this four loops here, you could do that in one line if you use what's called the list comprehension. That's for another day. Right, but for now, I should try and explain all of these uh, line by line. Okay, and this is what you got here. Now, this bit here, matrix A, is the transformation matrix by share of of any shape at all. Now the 1.5 is the share factor. This is the share factor there. And it's in, in that position because the invariant line is the x axis. If the x axis if the if the y axis were the invariant line then the 1.5 will be there. Okay? Now secondly um this uh, matrix here are formed from a list within a list. Now, this is um, this element here has got index zero, and this element here has got index one. So, as a matrix, this row is row zero, and this row is row one. Okay, and this column is column zero. This one and this column is column one so that's the first matrix now and that's the 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 transformation matrix by share with the scale factor of 1.5 and the x-axis is the variance line now you may be asking why 1.0 and 0.0 and 1.0 because if I just had one there and zero there and one there when I print out my values, I'm going to have the x ax, the x coordinates as decimals and the y coordinates as integers. So I made everything, uh, I made all the values here as decimals. Okay, now moving on from that, we don't have this one. It says print range length A. Now the length of this is 2 because I got index 0, index 0 and index 1. But so it's going to print for me. Uh, 0, 2. I need to use this length here because I can have uh, a matrix of, I don't know, say 10 by 15. So in, in that case, you, you know, it may be if, difficult to, if you don't know what it is. Now, in this case here, you may not know what the length of the matrix is. So this will give you an idea. Same print range, print range length of A with, with Keta 4 different densities of matrices okay now moving on and uh, then we now have this one here now this is a uh, uh, these are the um, coordinates of the hexagon we wish to share okay so the coordinates of the hexagon we wish to share will be uh, that one, 10, 10, sorry, 0, 6, 2, 10, 6, 10, 8, 6, 6, 2, and 2, 2 there. Okay. Right. Moving on from that. It said, it said print range length of B. Now, watch the, uh, this different thing. Now, this bracket here, the inner bracket is square brackets there. Watch that. And what that does is that it gives us the it takes care of the columns in the in matrix B. So it's going to give us 0, 6 because that's index 0, column here, that's index 0, index 1, 
two, three, four, five. I will have six columns altogether there. Now, moving on from that, uh, it says print range length B. Now, length B has got, uh, it, it, this time, right, looking for the, the rows, as you did in, a, in, in, in the A matrix there. So, don't forget that length B is similar to this one here. We've got lists within a list. So, you've got two, lists, you've got two elements there, element 0 and element 1. So that takes care of the rows. So the answer, the answer you expect will be uh, zero, two. Now moving on still, and because this is a two by two matrix, that one, and that's a two by six matrix there. And when you multiply both, the answer you expect will be a two by six matrix. Hence, this one here. Again, it's a list within a list there. Okay, right. Moving on still. We don't have this one here. Now, this bit here does all the calculations for us there. The, the, the four, the, we've got three for loops there, and I shall explain the true on there. We've got three for loops there. And followed by this bit here, which says print i and then print, this should be a, a k as well, which I've missed out. That's k there. Now, I should try to explain. Now, k has got the value length b, so you've got two values because we know that length b is two, so k has got values of, we take values of zero and one. j, this one here, has got values of zero. One, two, three, four, five, because J takes care of the columns. And I, right, this, and I has got value, I has got value of zero and one there. Okay? Right. Now I shall, I shall explain. And that's what you've got. Now to start with, for your calculations, we need to find the value, the value of I is zero. So we're going to start with this one here, zero there. And the value of j is also zero. And the value of k is also zero. Okay. Now, until we exhaust the value of k, we cannot move out of this string to this one to get uh, to get the next value of j. Okay. So meanwhile, to start with, the value of i is zero, the value of j is zero, and the value of k is zero. That's our starting point. And then it says here, print A, row I, column K. A, row I, column K. Now, row I will be I is 0 and K is 0. So we're looking for this matrix, row I, column K. Sorry, row, 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 row 0, column 0 will give us this number here 1.0 there okay so and that's what we got if I just get all this down here so row I column K will give us 1.0 similarly for the B matrix for the B matrix row K which is row 0 column I which is row I which is which is column 0 will give us a value of 0 so that's this number there okay so we now multiply 1.0 by 0 and get the answer there then we've now used up this over there this zero there sorry and now k will now update itself to one so now our k is now one and it then says we're looking for row i sorry for a row i column k and for b row k column i so in this case we're going to have um 1.5 because we're looking for row 0 column 1 because k is now 1 so we're looking for this 1.5 there so yeah that's row row, row 0 
column 1 for matrix A. Similarly, for matrix B, we're looking for uh, row 1, column 0. And that gives us uh, a value of 6, which is this one here. So row 1, column 0, will give us 6 there. And then you, mul you multiply 1.5 by 6, so you multiply that, and then add these two, and then add those two, and that should give us the value of 9. If I just get all this down, that gives us the value of 9. Now, because you get the value of 9, you then add this 0 there for the product, this 0 there to 9. 0 plus 9 will give us 9. I've got 9.0 there. Okay? Now, we've now exhausted K in there. We use up our 0 and 1. We then go into this loop here, the J loop, and pick up the next number. And the next number is going to be 1. So now we should work with K is equal to 0 and J is equal to 1. So what we then have is this one here that j is one and k is zero there he then says this is for matrix a row zero column zero which is one and for matrix b we got row zero column one because j is now one and that gives, gives us a value of 2. Check it out from there. Okay? Row 0, column 1, will give us this value of 2 there. Right. Now, moving on from that, we then move to the next one there. Now, we've not used up 0 there. Now, k will now update to 1. So now we've got k is 1. And J is still 1 there. Okay. Hope that makes sense. So now we're looking for A where I is 0, row, row 0, and column 1. So row 0, column 1 will be 1.5 for matrix A. And row 1, column 1 for B matrix is 10. Check it out and make sure. So you, you're going to have this one here. Row 1, column 1, will give you this one here. Okay? So, and now we multiply 1 by 2 and multiply 1.5 by 10 and then you add you add both to get 17 and 17 plus 0 here that will give us the space here. Yeah? 17 plus 0 will give us 17, hence the value 17 there. Okay? Now, we've now exhausted our k values now. We now move from this loop into this form here and pick up a new k value. Now, the k value, sorry, and pick up a new j value. Now, the j value is going to be 2. Okay? The j value will now be 2. So we then have this one here. Right, j value is 2. You start with, z with k, k is 0 there. You get your figures there. 1 and one, 1 and 6 there. Now, j is still 2 there. i is still 0. And k is now 1. And you get the figures 1.5 and 10. Multiply 1.5 and 10. And then add. If you then add, you get 21, and 21 plus 0 there will give us 21. So the next um, x coordinate is 21 there. And so the, the, procedure, the procedure continues that you, having used all your k values there, you then get into there and pick up the next j value, which is now 3. Okay? So you pick up the next j value, which is 3. The same procedure, you add, you get the figure 17 there. Add 17 to 0 there. 
you get 17 okay and so on and until you get to j is equal to 5. now when j is equal to 5 you've exhausted all of that and all of that you then move in, into this uh, loop here and pick up that i is now one now when i is one you begin to look at calculating the y coordinates okay now again to check if you to check if you're right now because the x-axis is invariant line the y coordinates do not change so as you can see here these are the same as uh, what you got there okay hope that makes sense so when it, when i is one now you begin to calculate the y coordinates now okay so now you then end up with uh, the following points you plot your points there and there there and there after share that is <coughs> sorry you, you plot into this point now which you find out from the matrix multiplication so you're going to plot these points and a and c and d and e and red f then if you join your points properly <coughs> excuse me join the points properly you get the share um, hexagon there now just to check uh, because the uh, x-axis is invariant line the equivalent lines in both the object and the image when it produce when when they are extended we meet at the invariant line as it got there so this is line de in blue extended and line de in red extended and both lines meet at the at the invariant line the x-axis so excuse me coughing and i do and i do hope all that made some sense and please please subscribe thank you for watching and bye-bye now. Bye-bye.